Thank you. Thank you all for coming this evening. Um, I've been given the very good honor to introduce someone that's running for 176th district. He's a Jackson Township supervisor for 27 years, chairman of the Jackson Water Authority, vice president of Monterey County Council of Governments, chairman of the Hamilton Jackson Open Space and Park Committee, past president of Monterey County Township officials, vice chairman of the Chestnut Hill Jackson Elbert Ross and Polk Regional Planning Board. He's also the VP and manager of Mountain Spring Lake Resorts for over 40 years. He also has the great distinction of having a wonderful family that will be second to none in the campaign performance, simply because when elected, they realize Jack won't be here for five days a week. <laughs> With that, I'd like to introduce my good friend, Jack Rader Jr. Good evening, everybody. My name is Jack Rader Jr. And I'm running for the Pennsylvania State House of Representatives in the 176th District. All of my friends ask me, why have I decided to run? When I watch the news and see what is happening in our country, in our state, I often wonder why more qualified people don't get involved and run for office. The condition and direction of our government is the result of the people that we elect. Good government respects the rights of its people, fights to preserve their liberty, and endeavors to find the most cost-effective way to provide needed services. We need people to run for office who don't have a personal agenda, who treat everyone fairly and equally, and, just, and who just want to do what is right for the constituents. Personal responsibility and personal freedom go hand in hand. This is what I believe, and this is why I am running. I would like to share with you a little about myself, who I am, and my experience that I think makes me qualified for this office. I attended Pocono Mountain for my early education and then continued my education at Susquehanna University where I earned a degree in business. For nearly my entire life, I have been involved in operating a small family business and it actually seems longer than my entire life sometimes. <laughs> this life experience has taught me a lot in how to listen to others and work together daily to get things done. This business experience also helps me understand how our tax code, healthcare issues, and overregulation can hinder economic growth and job creation. High taxes, burdensome regulations, and unfunded mandates are not good government. From a businessman's perspective, I realize we need a more common sense approach. Precious tax dollars should not be spent in ways that may and often do hinder economic growth. We need to help our existing businesses flourish and grow thus encouraging job creation in our area. The government practice of spending more than it takes in is wrong and puts us, and more importantly, future generations at risk. In the private sector, businesses and families have had to learn how to do more with less, and we are succeeding. Government must do the same thing. And this is where my experience in the business world has prepared me for this office. In addition to my private sector experience, I have also been a township supervisor for over 27 years. My experience in that position helps me understand the needs of the people, the grassroots concerns of the local citizens, from needed tax reform to unfunded mandates that negatively impact local government's ability to improve infrastructure. I understand the issues of a taxation and have been able to provide services while keeping taxes at a reasonable level in my position as a township supervisor. Taxpayers expect their money to be spent wisely. I strive to have a problem-solving, can-do approach to governing. I have also been involved with the Pocono Jackson Water Authority in some capacity since its inception over 20 years ago. This agency provides water for those people who live in the Pocono Jackson area that were impacted by the Butts Landfill Superfund site. For the last eight years, I have been chairman of the authority and have dealt with the financial needs and regulatory issues alongside our fine board. I understand how to work with the state and federal agencies to help keep a small water system viable for the community. Regionally, I have been working with neighboring townships throughout my term as supervisor. I am past president of the Monroe County Township officials. I am currently vice president of the Monroe County Council of Governments, which provides services and information for townships countywide. 
For a number of years, I've been chairman of the Hamilton Jackson Pocono Open Space and Park Committee. We have been working to develop a park for the residents within that area. It has been a challenge in this economic climate, but I'm happy to say we are moving forward in developing the park. In as much as we would love to have it completed right away, we will work within our means to phase the project in. Jackson Township has a greenway trail system of open space connecting our northern state game lands with our southern state game lands. This greenway trail system also runs through Chestnut Hill Township. Working with neighboring townships is something I believe to be very important. And we have been successful in accomplishing our goals with regional projects. I understand the need for open space within the community. I believe it must be accomplished with vision in a well thought out manner. This greenway trail system helps economic growth as well as property values within the community. I presently serve as Vice Chairman of the Chestnut Hill Jackson Eldred Ross and Polk Regional Planning Board. This has taught me how to play nice with others within the district as we work together in planning and growth issues within the region and actually throughout the county. Outside of my political experience, I have served in different capacities through the years with my church and with my 